Hey Virgo, welcome to your January reading. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. Okay, so let's take a look. I am putting a little bit more color and prints in my closet. So I'm, tr I'm trying, guys. Okay, I'm really trying. The, the shit is still here, so whatever. Anyways, let's see here. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. January 2019. All right, let's take a look. All right, Virgo. We're ready. We're ready, Virgo. We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, gorgeous, the King of Cups. You guys served... This karmic cycle ended well, I guess, for, for a lot of you here. So I do see here the energy that you're bringing into the month of January, guys. Making changes slowly but surely here, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. For a lot of you, this has to do with finances. I do feel like this is like a huge energetic shift. You know, like you guys feeling more balanced, more stable. Proud of you, Virgos. Um, you guys are feeling more stable. You guys are feeling more balanced. You're like, you know what? Whatever is not serving me, it's out. I feel like with this King of Cups, a lot of you have emotionally matured, okay? And I don't refer to a certain age group. This has nothing to do with age, okay? Some people can be 60 and they can still be childish. Seen it. All right? So anyways, um... What I'm seeing here is that you guys are now like, this is not rebuilding the foundation. This is focusing on what matters, right? Your own energy, maybe your family, your friends, or your business, whatever. Like, I feel like you guys were focusing on the wrong things or you were focusing too much on the things that were not working out, right? And now it's kind of like letting it go with the flow here with the Wheel of Fortune, right? For some of you, you got your King of Cups. Some of you had like a lover coming in out of the blue recently. Well, maybe some of you are gonna have, I mean, we're still not done with December technically, right? So somebody could still be coming in out of the blue with the King of Cups here. This person is bringing changes to your life as well. And I feel like these changes are for the better. This is somebody who is emotionally open, somebody who wants a relationship, somebody who wants commitment. Others of you, this is like kind of like slowly understanding your worth, value, and kind of like, this is the type of connection I want. This is the type of person I want. It's kind of like really clearing with yourselves here, where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want to deal with, who you're bringing into the new year, right? And it's not just about the year, you know, you were just a number. It's more about the cycle, right? And the changes that you guys are going through, all right? So let's take a look here. What's the overall theme for the month of January for you, Virgos? Very positive. Woo, hoo, hoo. Ace of Pentacles. So we're dealing with a Pisces here. Or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but with this Ace of Pentacles, if it's not love and if it's work, this is major, okay? These are big, big opportunities, okay? You guys, I feel like a lot of door is just gonna start opening in front of you, right? One opportunity shows up, another one comes after it, right? I feel like Virgo also had this reading like recently, but I do feel like for a lot of you, this is to do with finances and career. So you are like really oriented now and like, where you want to go with your life, what you want to do with your money. So you might be purchasing something. I, I feel like this is something that shouldn't be rushed. Take things slow. Also, I feel like you guys are coming to an understanding that everything takes time. Now, whether this is a relationship, whether this is like... Because Virgos are very impatient often. See, Seven of Cups reversed. See? You guys are removing blockages. You're removing confusions. You're removing the BS out of your life. Yes. Right? But I do feel like here, there's going to be like, you know... One opportunity comes along, the next one comes along. It's got kind of like a chain event here, but it's a positive chain event. Wow, Virgos, you really had a good readings like in the past, like I think three months or two months. Normally we always have some dramas going on. Let me see here what's coming in January. Eight of Cups fell on the ground and I'm going to keep it because this is appropriate with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. This is you guys leaving behind whatever is not emotionally for you. This can be a person, this can be like, you know, this self-sabotaging attitude, you know, but I also feel like things that were piling up within, okay? Um, with regards maybe to family, friends, you know, yourself even, you know? It's kind of like, I'm done with this pity party, I'm done like, 
I'm looking the other way. I feel like you guys are looking the other way finally. You're looking towards something stable, grounded, you know. Nothing that doesn't have a solid foundation is not, it's not on your agenda anymore, Virgos. Let's see here. You got the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Ooh. Careful not to fall in the same trap. Okay, some of you here. This could be obsession with money. Because I'm picking up here that some of you are trying to run away from your emotional problems. Through like career and finance. But others of you. Someone's not showing their true face. And be careful of that. And I feel like you guys also here, you know, you want to run away from something emotionally, but you're still around. You're around the devil. You're trying to escape from someone or something, but, you know, they're still around. Or, like, you're still a lot enabling their energy to be pres <clears throat> present in your life. I do see here that you should be careful what you're getting into here, especially emotionally, Okay with old people with new people i feel like these are good opportunities but i feel like someone's just like man i just want a new cycle to begin like i just want something else to happen so you have the empress okay so there's some sort of a pregnancy for some of you because queen of pentacles and the empress are together this is definitely something to do with motherhood expansion okay you guys are going to be well taken care of i feel by the universe if that makes sense to you it's kind of like these this devil energy it's like it can be something that is low vibrational that you have problems removing if that makes sense and i feel like this is going to be removed for you don't you worry okay you just keep doing you guys you just keep doing your thing and like this shit is gonna go away if they don't go away i guess you gotta get rid of it somehow but but there is somebody external to you that wants growth with you. And I'm, again, getting like a strong Taurus, maybe a Libra. Okay. Now we have the three of pentacles. Okay, this is... Okay, so some of you here, you know, new person shows up. You guys got to rebuild everything all over again. You got to do everything all over again. I feel like there's this lack of motivation or like this kind of like, man, I just like don't want to do this like all over again. With the three of pentacles here others of you it's kind of like rebuilding the emotional structure within you you know if there's no nobody else around it's kind of like man i gotta like start over and i'm telling you here keep pushing towards a new beginning because changes are here you're offered growth you're offered you're being supported here to focus on things which are good for you which are you know work for your best interest Right? But there is still here some sort of toxic shit, waste that needs to be removed, Virgos. Okay? And I'm telling you, I want to look into the devil. Let me look into the devil first, please. Yeah, see? You guys got to start looking forward. Let go, especially a Capricorn here. Let go of this Capricorn. There could be a water sign that's coming in. This is a new person. New love is coming in. There's a new love opportunity, guys. But there's also going to be the old person or if they're not like physically present they're going to be messing with your heads okay i don't know if this is going to be like through communication for others of you it's just energetically do not allow these people back in because they're gonna block you from moving into this new relationship and this new relationship looks good it looks perfectly normal and sane Others of you, there can be like somebody that's married or committed or like that has children, but you guys are like not really willing to work with that because I feel like there's another energy present, two threes. I don't feel like it's a third party situation for a lot of you. For some of you, it's kind of like this person has children or like they have a very busy life or they could be you. But like there's some sort of like an external interference all right let me see here what's the outcome for virgos for january five of pentacles what is this and then the nine i'm telling you here you keep allowing the past back in you keep allowing like these energies which were blocking you to come back into your life this is how it's gonna end okay because you don't want to invest in what's good guys emotionally you're going to be focusing on wrong things some of you and this is kind of like, I feel like this is a heads up, this five of pentacles. Because the outcome always depends on your action, right? 
I can say fairy, I can tell fairy tales here, but you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you what you do with your life. And I'm telling you here, keep clinging on to this, but there's nothing going on. See, you're all, again, you're gonna end up in, in a limbo. In a limbo, nothing's gonna happen, nothing's gonna move forward nor backward. If this is love, mm -mm. others of you, you need to mind your expenditure because finances are looking slim around the end of the month and also here. There can be like a business project that you guys are being offered, but you're not sure if you should go for it or not. Because somebody, like you have more than the other person. It feels like somebody's like trying to, I don't know the expression in English, but like they're trying to take advantage and they most likely will if you give them the opportunity here with the five of pentacles. All right, now let's take a quick look at love. Let me take a look at singles. Virgo singles, what's coming in in January? This is like a really quick reading. Six of wands, ooh, nine of cups, and then the uh, the couples. Eight of cups and the world card, and then we have the ten of wands. Okay, so some of you here, singles. So overall theme for both, both Virgo singles and couples is, guys, drop the burden, go with the flow guys okay singles chill relax someone's coming in don't you worry you keep shining you keep doing you there's an offer coming in from maybe a leo water sign or a sagittarius okay that's what i'm seeing here for singles okay so singles i do see here somebody getting flowers somebody being appreciated somebody's like being very romantic towards you this could be the past person because it is coming from the past for some of you but i feel like for many of you it is somebody new Okay, you'll see. This is up to an individual and this is like a general reading, so we'll see. But there is victory for singles. Good vibes are for singles. Couples, this is about, you know, working together on a partnership, but you gotta drop some sort of emotional baggage, anger, resentment, either you or your partner, I don't know, whoever. And with the world card here, this is about, you know, So you maybe want to relocate or your partner wants to relocate and it can be issues with that or like some one person doesn't want to go the other does one person wants an adventure the other doesn't i feel like this is all about kind of like feeling a little less obligated in a relationship a little more like we're partners and we're equals and we're making this we're we're bringing this to the world together could be a pregnancy for some of you here Unwanted pregnancy. Could be dealing with Pisces, a fixed sign. We got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. All right. Okay, Virgos. That was, I hope that made sense. I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.